All right, seven, 17. Very good uh, question, this. Make a graph of the kinetic energy, potential energy, and incoherent energy versus time. For what? A, a moving billiard ball colliding with a stationary billiard ball, or a pool ball, or a snooker ball. Okay, so first of all, we can assume that this kind of uh, interaction is elastic. And we know that, um, so, A, you've got your pool ball there, and you've got a billiard ball. So here the velocity is zero, and this guy is moving at a certain velocity, and they collide, and then they most likely end up moving both in the same direction. Okay, well, I think obviously they do that. Okay, but remember that during the collision, during the collision, remember, if this is an elastic collision, some of that, first of all, during the collision, they temporarily, if you recall, have the same velocity. So the relative velocity between these two objects is zero, temporarily, at a certain instant which means that the kinetic energy during that instant has gone down, has decreased, the system kinetic energy, and it has been converted into internal energy and primarily potential energy. So there's been a temporary deformation, right? So remember, like, if, you, if, you've, got, if you've got a spring and this object moves against the spring, uh, and it's, in, it's an elastic collision, it compresses the spring, right? And then, then, it, then this object moves away because the spring has re been, uh, it is reversed its position, okay? So it is temporarily compressed, and then it goes back to its original position. It's the same thing here with an elastic collision, actually with all collisions, so it temporarily compress they compress each other the relative velocity is zero which means that the kinetic energy has gone down temporarily the potential energy has gone up temporarily and then they carry on so if we have um uh, if we have just call it energy on this axis and time on this axis we are going to have our kinetic energy, we'll do something like this, so that is the temporary dip when you have those uh, relative velocities being zero, and then, so this is your kinetic energy, then you're going to have this for your potential energy, you'll have this temporary increase, this temporary spike during the collision. But after the collision, after the interaction, the system kinetic energy goes back to what it was and the system potential energy goes back to what it was in an elastic collision. Okay, now let's look at B. B says a moving ball of cookie dough, okay, very soft, colliding with and sticking to an identical but stationary ball of cookie dough. Okay, so this is, we know this, this is a totally inelastic collision, okay, so come together and then they stick to each other and they keep moving, right, this one is zero, okay, so let's think about it in terms of your Kinetic energy, potential energy, and incoherent energy. Okay, remember your incoherent energy is energy that you can't get back. It's, um, it's permanently deforming. Remember, we're talking about mainly shape and temperature. Okay, so incoherent energy has permanently deformed the shape 
means sorry it means that the shape is permanently deformed you can't get that energy back okay uh, another type of incoherent energy is uh, the temperature has increased okay so both of these are incoherent energies all right so again if we draw this diagram time and energy what happens to our kinetic energy? Well, initially the system kinetic energy is uh, positive, say, okay, and then they interact and they start moving together. So the kinetic energy drops, uh, it drops, okay, and this is maybe a little bit of a tricky part, but um, it goes through this kind of dip like this and comes out the other end like this, right? So this dip, uh, so we know that the kinetic energy gets converted into other forms because it, it is an inelastic, but it goes through this dip because during the collision, some of it gets temporarily converted to potential energy, okay? And then it goes back to its original state. The, the, the system potential energy goes back to its original state. And so this kinetic energy goes to that dip when the potential energy goes to that spike and it carries on like that. So the kinetic energy, system kinetic energy has dropped quite a bit, okay? But there is still system kinetic energy because the, they're both still moving, okay? Then we've also got the co not, uh, incoherent energy which increases like this goes like that okay incoherent all right so we've got change in shape probably the prime prime primary um, internal energy that is increased is the the change in shape the permanent deformation okay so your incoherent energies increase like that okay I hope that makes sense okay good luck guys